Hello and welcome back, or welcome if you're new. Today we have Planet Crafter up. Had some issues when it comes to my wife's account on the Xbox when it comes to Valheim. For some reason the Xbox did not get the Ashlands update. I was able to get the Ashlands update for the computer, but not for the Xbox. And since we played on my wife's world, can't actually access our world that we had been playing on anymore. So I'm going to be doing this solo series for now until we can Xbox actually gets the update and then we can go back to Valheim since we're going to have to restart. If I were to sit there and continue with Valheim, I figured why not give something else a little bit of a try while we hopefully end up getting the Xbox and Ashlands update. Correct your trajectory. Imminent impact. Imminent impact. Alright. So, we have crash landed on a planet. And, uh, we gotta worry about our oxygen, our water, and our food. But we have a message here. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of this world. You'll need to generate O2, heat, and pressure. Uh, first reach that big-ass number and create a blue atmosphere. Awesome. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. What is in here? We'll grab two things of food. One thing of oxygen. Is that what that is? Okay, so we do have one thing of oxygen. And then one thing of water. And then we have a crafting doodad here. But we have a list of items that it wants us to craft. So it wants us to craft the T1 backpack. Let's see what that requires. T1 is two things of iron. Uh, what are you? Titanium. Oh, iron. Awesome. And then another thing of iron since I kind of have an idea of what that looks like now. Mm, seeing a lot of everything else. Alright. Now we have the two things of iron. Not a whole lot to look at right now, but I imagine as we continue to like actually terraform the planet, it's gonna get really, really, really pretty. Uh, I'm on my way back to our little pocket of safety. All right, now we can make our T1 backpack. We'll go ahead and equip that. Awesome sauce. Craft T1 oxygen tank and equip that. What does that require? Cobalt, two cobalt, iron, and magnesium. Two cobalt, iron, and magnesium. Two cobalt, iron, and magnesium. Uh, okay, that's the cobalt that I need, or at least one of them. There's another one right here. Two cobalts. Iron. We'll pick up that extra piece of iron, because I imagine we're going to need it. And magnesium. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get that made. Actually, we'll double check and see what are the other things we need for those for the construction microchip. Silicone? Okay. Because I don't really want to keep doing a lot of back and forth if we don't need to type situation, you know what I mean? So I'm going to grab as much of the stuff as I see that we need. And then the construction microchip. And let's go ahead and throw that on, throw that on, awesome sauce, and then it wants us to craft a living compartment, craft a living compartment door. Okay. Ba da ba. Ba da ba. No light in here but that's okay. 
need a wind turbine and I can make actually already no problem. So let's go ahead and get a wind turbine. Power has been restored. Awesome. Oh, is that just too close to the wall? I, I think it was just way too close to the wall originally. Alright, so we have two of the little turbine things and so now we actually have power in here. Uh, craft a T1 drill. Craft a screen tear reformation. I need cobalt and iron. Uh, screen tear reformation. Oh, other way. There you go. Craft screen blueprints. Oh, those are like table ones. Do I have... Alright, so we have the iron now. Ba -da -ba. And then it wants us to make energy levels. There's the blueprints and we need silicone for that. And there's quite a bit of silicone out here. So, oh, I didn't even need to go in that other direction for the iron. There was a piece just chillaxing right there, actually. I mean, that's just kind of how it is, as we, I'm noticing as we're getting used to, like, what each of the materials actually looks like from the distance. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need that, so I'm just grabbing it ahead of time. And then... A little bit of uh, cobalt, since those have been items that we have seen used in quite a few different recipes already but comparatively to other survival games that i have tried and like have watched people play this is a pretty good one i mean you don't have things coming randomly and trying to eat your butthole which is nice uh and then the progress Uh, oh, I need magnesium for that. I was so confused for a second why I couldn't put it down. And it's just like, oh, you don't even have the material that you need for it, sweetie. I grabbed silicone, but I, at a glance, thought it was the magnesium that I actually came out here for. All right. We have a lot of work ahead of us because, like, we have to create this whole atmosphere. That's, that's what I'm really enjoying so far from what I'm seeing. Like, it's a very interesting concept with how everything runs and so forth. Um, it wants us to make a screen that we don't have access to yet. So, craft a T1 veg tube. You want, I, oh, oh, I need ice for that. And then I can actually make the crafting station here. So let's go ahead and make one here. Go back down to where we had originally started so I can actually bring all the food that I have down there. So there's that, too, since we don't have too, too much on us currently. Um, okay, I was so confused for a second. I was like, huh? Okay, so a little da da da. All kinds of stuff. Uh, oh, wait. We have no water on us. Can we make water? We can. We just need ice for that. There was plenty of ice around here. So let's go ahead and get a small bit of um, ice so that we can have some water where we're at. Because that's going to be pretty important for us to have. Uh, I think it was when we quickly glanced at it. I should have t actually double checked how many ice it took per to actually make the water. It's all a learning process, though, guys. All a learning process. Oh, didn't mean to actually jump there. Whoopsies. Okay, so the oxygen's getting pretty low again. Let's head our way down. And we will go from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some water really quick. It's very important that we have this. 
Oh, okay. So I was actually able to make quite a few waters because of the fact that it is only one ice per. And then I believe oh wrong thing. Excuse me? Oh, that's why. Yes. And we'll go ahead and we'll make the oxygen. We have at least one extra oxygen tube now. Alright, so let's make our way back down to Oh. There you go. But let's go ahead and make our way down to where we originally were at. Um, I think that was back this way. We walked a little bit of some distance, actually. So, uh, there's a chest right there, though, actually. I see it from here. Okay, so we'll, we'll stop at that chest, actually, and then we'll go pick up the food and anything else that I think is going to be beneficial for the rest of this. Food, all kinds of stuff, actually, here. Um, okay, so good thing there's a crafting station at this part of the, like, beginning state, because then I can go ahead and fill up my oxygen about got taken out because of the oxygen lack thereof it anyways but let's go ahead and get these oxygen tanks made really quick and, and a little bit of extra space by doing so all right what else is here we need to take that with us and we'll have to come back okay, so there's that and then we're going to need another chest, actually. Yep, we are going to need another chest. Um, so I can expand this, if I'm not mistaken. Let me pick this up really quick. And do, do, do. And expand the living compartment. Awesome. And then that should be enough space on the inside now that, okay, yeah, that kind of flippity flapped with stuff. Um, what do I need? Silicone? Okay. There you go. Now I can grab that. And move that back here. And get that out of the way. Alright. Ba da ba. Ba da ba. Ba da ba. And then put that table back down. Put the desktops. Oh. Wrong thing the screens back on and then the energy screen as well as soon as I can get it to cooperate with me so this is going to be for when we eventually start finding blueprints we'll be able to like unlock those and whatnot and as you can see like each category has a different thing that you can work towards and then Right now, our production, we're doing 2.4 kilowatts at the moment and using less than half of that. So there is that. Um, let me grab this iron really quick because this pretty much is just water and oxygen. And I want to put one of these bad boys here for right now so that I can start moving this stuff over. Awesome sauce. We're gonna grab... Is it... It, like, froze for a second there, and I'm not really sure why it froze. But... Alright. Not too shabby so far, guys. Let's head back and pick up the rest of the stuff there, and then since we did make the uh, deconstructor chip we can break down stuff over there 
that I uh, felt like would be good. So can I break this? And I can break that and get the iron back from it. Nice. Uh, no, no. no point in having that here. We'll go ahead and... Oh, we can't actually pick up any of the items from here. So we need to head back and drop stuff off. All right, we are actually finally home now. And what is, we're gonna da da da, and then we will organize that here momentarily. But and we run out of space again, actually. Oh, how lovely. Okay. We're gonna grab this so that I can actually put a storage crate here. And then I can have stuff specifically for our ores, for our food, and then for water and oxygen. It's just me wanting to organize stuff. It's not necessarily a big deal now, but you know. Organization is organization and keep things in, you know, together and let you don't have to be running around everywhere trying to, to find X, Y, Z. I do like that you can actually label these because I noticed that you can label that right there. Now, this one has food in it. So let's go ahead and label that as food so I don't get confused. All right, food. This should be water and oxygen. Water and oxygen. Hello? Let me, thank you. Water and oxygen. Awesome. And then this one has ores in it. All right, so those are all labeled now. And it wants a T1 here. Oh, can't make that yet because I have no idea uh, actually where to grab that one thing at. But let me see. Can I make the drill that it wants? Iron and titanium. Iron and titanium. We should have... We have the iron. We have the titanium. Let's go ahead and... Throw the T1 drill as soon as it lets us. don't know really what what was going on there for a second but now we have the t1 drill that it wants wanted us to make let's look at our electricity usage so our production right now is 2.4 well 2.40 kilowatts we're using 2.35 of the kilowatts that we have currently making with the energy thingies that we put out and then so we have two wind turbines okay so we need to put out more because right now we only have according to the screen we only have not even yeah 0 0.005 kilowatts available so we need more wind turbines hydration level low okay we'll go ahead and we'll take care of that really quick and really quick. Awesome. Oh, I didn't even eat it. I put it in my inventory. All right. So then what we need is to put more of these wind turbines up and we need iron for those. And it's one iron a piece. So we can actually put a couple of these bad boys out and it should start helping with that power production. I do got to keep in mind where exactly I'm wanting to, uh, whoopsies, end up expanding. But I don't intend on expanding this way. I'm going to kind of have this be like the power aspect of it. So let's run in really quick and take a look at what our power is now that I went ahead and put up more of those awesome so we went from having not even a you know one 
kilowatt left to having 4.85 kilowatts available out of all of what we are producing. That was, I'm pretty sure, all the iron I had on me, so we are going to need to go ahead and run and grab some iron. So, need another wind turbine. I don't really know why it's doing that weird. Other than, I mean, I, th I guess I was just too close to that other one with it. The placement can be a little bit weird from what I'm noticing. It can be a little bit finicky about how it wants you to place certain things. Which is fine and fair and dandy, but definitely makes you think about the placement. Okay, so we got quite a few of those bad boys up now. And let's go take a look at... Okay, so our oxygen's going up, our pressure's not doing too bad, but we need heat, which is why we need the T1 heater. Uh, let's try to put... Can I actually, can I put another one of these? I just need titanium to do that. And we have one of those currently inside. Oh, and we actually have one right here too. And one right in the way of where I would be putting it at anyhow. Alright, so let's put another one of these drills and start continuing to work on our pressure. Yeah, okay, so the pressure's going up, the oxygen's going up. Ooh, we got a T2 oxygen tank. Let's get that made. What do I need for that? Silicone, cobalt, and magnesium. Alright. T2 oxygen tank. And does it automatically equip it? It does automatically equip it. Awesome. So... Let's go ahead and grab, like, two things of food. Mm, two things of oxygen and, like, two things of water. We'll put the ores that I have away. And... I want to check out that cave really quick. Or as much as of it as I can. I don't know. Can I actually make it to the cave? before we run out of oxygen. Mm. I mean, we're making our way there. I'm just a little bit concerned that we may not be able to actually make it all the way to where we need to. Oh, what's that? That looks like ice. Oh, we on oxygen and everything so far, so... We can get magnesium out there. I don't really want to worry about that. Um. Oh! 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 I think I found what I needed. I think I found what I needed, guys. I found it. What I needed. This makes me happy. Don't know why I keep getting random glitches. What are you? Oh! You're something I didn't even have yet. All right, all right, not too bad. Oh wait, we need to oxygen really quick because our oxygen was pretty darn low there for a second. So then we'll, if it would let me grab it, that'd be nice. And. Sauce. Probably don't need every single one of these that I've grabbed, but hey. Material that we ha I know that we need for one and two. If this area is not gonna be super easy for me to get to all the time, you know, I want to be able to have everything that I need, you know. Oh, our inventory is full. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll drink some water so that we can pick that up. Hmm. T2 backpack! What, what?
It'd be nice if the game would stop freezing every little bit. Because it does indeed keep deciding to freeze. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. So if you guys see a little bit of a weird laggy delay, I apologize. I don't know why it keeps doing it, but it keeps doing it. And that's just unfortunately what we're having to deal with. But we'll have to come back this way with uh, our bigger backpack space and see what else we can actually get out of that. But I'm pretty sure we have the item now that we needed in order to make the T1 heater. Let's take a look at our inventory so that we can put these in its proper spots. We definitely need... Oh, wait. This is... I need this for... Um, the item that we're trying to craft right now. All right, so what was it that we needed for? Mm -hmm. Iron and silicone, do we have? We have one of each. But we don't really have a whole lot of space to put it. So I have enough space to put the T1 heater in that I needed. Uh, I did take a quick gander at Fortnite's like newest Fallout collab whatnot. I I, I don't know, maybe I, I just need to take some extra time to play with it and kind of get used to all the stuff that they added and or like changed in minuscule ways, but I don't know how exactly I feel about this season so far. I didn't play super long, but it might not necessarily be one of their seasons that I pay too much attention to, unfortunately. But that's just a me thing. You guys are welcome to your own opinion. I mean, if you guys really like the season so far, uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I'm always interested to hear from you guys and see what you guys feel about stuff. So, now we got that made. I don't think we can make that screen yet for the progress, but let's go to the blueprints and see if I can figure out where that, like which section I need to work on to get that unlocked. Screen progress. We need to, in the T2 veggie tube unlocks at 500 PK. We're only at 10 peak. Well, we're going up a little bit. So, make another one of these. Make a couple of those and start getting our, our heat up. T1 solar panel. We actually have a solar panel that we can make now. What? What? Okay. Now that's going to help considerably with the power and stuff. Because as we're putting in more of these like more of the electronical equipment and so forth it obviously does end up using more power so let's take a look at what's going on here so we are at a production of 12 kilowatts of power right now we have a consumption of 7.85 kilowatts out of that 12 leaving us with 415 left for the kilowatts so what do i need for Two cobalt, iron, and silicone. We, all right, and then we want and then we can't make any more. But let's go take a look at what our power production is now that we put in an additional like power doodad. Okay, that put it up to eighteen fifty. So we have an available ten sixty five for uh, the kilowatts. Mm -hmm. All right, well, with that in mind, actually, what else can I currently make that it's not asking me to make? Uh, so construction microchip, microchip torch, magnesium, two magnesium, and a silicone. Oh, wait, we just got the T2 veggie tube. The T2 veggie tube. Where is that at? Where is it at? There's the T2. We need two ice, iron, magnesium, and silicone. And then start making our way over to 
where we were wanting to explore. Getting stuck on stuff, getting stuck on stuff. Da 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 Okay. A little bit alarming. Oh, wait. Um... Food. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I mean, it's dark, you can't really see a whole, whole lot. There's uh, a lot of stuff here that I'll go ahead and make some inventory space by doing that. We'll grab that. Can't grab that actually. Uh, drink the water. Grab that. We're gonna have to leave stuff behind, is what it looks like, unfortunately. Oh shoot. Um. Wait. What are you? Open. Oh, there's a blueprint. Okay. Don't know if that is everything from here. We got a T3 backpack. Nice. It's just so dark. I can't see anything. Oh, wait. I don't think I came down here. Um. 150 for the multiplier versus 200. Okay, um... I'm gonna drop this iron for right now so that I can grab these. Grab that, drop that titanium, grab that. Because those are the thingies that give us the oxygen. But we do need to start leaving. I'm gonna have to come back. I will have to come back, unfortunately. But, so far, that's what we were able to grab out of that. So there's that, at least. I mean, we're gonna have to come back. But we did find some pretty interesting stuff. Now, it's just a matter of us actually making it back. I was able to prepare myself well enough that we didn't die from lack of food and or oxygen. There's definitely a lot more stuff that we need to find. But while we were there, we got a back wrap, backpack upgrade. So that's always a positive. Now we let's go ahead, look at our inventory and start like getting rid of stuff that we don't Go ahead and I'm going to put the seeds in the food pack. We have the blueprint screen now. We do. What, what did we get from this? T1 agility boots. So we'll have to make that. And throw that in there, throw that in there, throw that in there. Um, we'll switch out the seeds because... That does a lot considerably, does considerably better. Okay, now we can look at our screen. So our oxygen production is at 375-ish, 163 for the seat, and then pressure of 770-ish. Okay. 
and do I have room in my other ores chest to put these? I'll grab the iron really quick so that I can make a chest for... Yeah, switch these out. Okay. Uh, and then what is this chest going to have again? I can't actually remember what I was planning on putting in there. Oh, yeah, 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 the, the, the seeds is what I was planning on putting in there. Throw that right there. And not too shabby, y'all. Not too freaking shabby at all. And that's going to be all for today, guys. I sure hope that you had fun hanging out today because I sure fun, had fun hanging out with you as well. Now, if you happen to like the video, go ahead and leave a like to let me know you enjoy. Subscribe if you'd like to become part of the Titty Tat Army. And if you'd never like to miss a post, push that bell icon. Now, you spread positive vibes. I'll spread positive vibes. Until next time, have a perfectly wonderful day. Bye!